Butterfly gon' recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime road. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'ma tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy out there. Thomas Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the fire flies. When you start rapping like that, nigga, the Uzi spit. And yours with the cooling kit. Nigga, smack put you on, then you start using it. Nigga, when I hear, yeah, nigga, every fucking board. Nigga, yeah, nigga, yeah, nigga. Yeah, 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 See, Def got perks too. Yeah. Make him rap. Speaking in Spanish, he's dead. This is Terminator. Let's go. Eating that. Year round trick or treating that. All day feasting that. This is gang sign. Let me get a little piece of that. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. You know who I be. Follow me on IG, Vada underscore fly. Tell your mama I said hi. Salute to GTX. Salute to Lush One. Delmon Crew. Salute to d -Rec, Rap Grid. No Jumper. RX. Looking good as ever. Etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. The Prelude. Uh, hosted by Lush One. Uh, I did peep some of the battles on here. I will let you know what I saw. I will let you know what I loved. I will let you know what ah, shit like that. So, disaster versus a season, a seasono, a seasono, a seasono. Zeno. Yeah, I did watch that battle. I'll tell you what I thought about it in a second. Geechee Gotti versus Clean Paper. Kitchen Clean, A-Verb versus Pass. Big T versus Mac Myron. Chef Trez versus Saint. Holmesy the God versus Fate. And Reverse Live versus Don Marino. Uh-huh, yeah, yeah. Disaster versus Asazino. Um... I didn't know much about AC Zeno, I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, I know he's a Mexican artist. I know he has a huge following. I know that he gets busy. Uh, I did go, you know, check through his YouTube channel. He does millions of views. He's a huge artist and he has a huge following. Battling against somebody like Disaster. Now, the way this battle was set up was the first round was in English. The second round was in Spanish. And the third round was English and Spanish. It was something that I've never seen done before. And to my knowledge, AC Zeno had never rapped a round in English before. Like a full round in English. So Disaster comes out. Uh, he does the Disaster thing. And he's actually, like, he's cooking. I ain't gonna lie. And the one thing about Disaster, I will say... Is he's very, very, very adept to being in these situations as to, to battling international talent. You know, he battled Oxymoron at the uh, King of the Dot joint, the World Domination. I forgot, I was there too. I forgot which one it was. Was it eight? I don't remember. But he was there. Uh, and these guys bring in huge clouds. They bring in huge. When I tell you Oxymoron had people outside, down the street, around the corner waiting to see him, he's like a rock star. And the same thing went on with uh, Ace Cizino. He had a lot of people there. AC Zeno had a lot of love. I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm not even gonna hold you. Um, he definitely, before he could even rap, the crowd was cheering for him. I Zeno, I Zeno. Like, it was, it was kind of crazy. Disaster's first round. Uh, he, he had, he had, he was coming out punching. You look like the Super Mario of your stupid body, yo. Uh, like, he definitely called the dude 21 Savage. I like that line, too. It was funny. Um, he, he definitely went through a powerful first round. AC Zeno's first round, this is my first time speaking or rapping in English. Tornado, tomato, tomato. Uh, I put any of these rhymes in the Google Translator. When she hears me speak in Spanish, it's Terminator, Cain Velasquez, Brown Pride, uh, Injection on Your Spine, The Cortisone. Like, yo, he was... The, 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 I said Zeno had some bars. I ain't even gonna hold you. Um, I'm gonna just stop right here. 
because I got to give both of them like their credit. Uh, I don't know who won this battle. I don't speak Spanish. Disaster second round. He he raps a whole second round in Spanish. I did not think he could do that. Like for him to rap, like he rapped the whole round in Spanish. Like and it was he. I don't know what he was saying. I ain't even gonna hold you. But whatever he was saying, that shit was starting to hit. And as Cezino came out, he rapped his second round in Spanish. You know his shit was gonna be. I, for the for the sake of argument, I'm sure Ace Zeno had a better second round, but I don't know. Who fucking knows? Third round, I ain't gonna hold you. Spanish and English shit, I was kind of lost. Uh, good battle overall. The winner won. I don't I don't know. I, I got nothing for you. It is what it is. Um, Aver versus Pass. Now this was a really good battle. To me, I feel like Pass was rapping. Crazier versus Verb than he was in the battle with Bill Collective for 100,000. Bill mentioned it. You know, you'd rather see me for 100, call himself Cocaine Veezy. You know what I'm saying? Salute to the island god, A Verb. Verb was in his bag. I got Verb edging 2 1, but this battle could easily go to pass. You know what I'm saying? Like, you watch it a couple times. But Verb was in his bag. His first round was crazy. His second round, he jumped in his bag. All three rounds, Verb was really in his bag. Uh, Big T. Versus Mac Myron. This is kind of like some of the only reason why I even went to do this recap for the whole joint. Uh, Mac Myron went crazy. Mac Myron, 3 0. Mac Myron was, he was wilding on him so much. Like, I kind of was like, yo, why is, why is we doing this? Like, this don't even need to happen. We need to let this go. He was bugging. Mac Myron was punchline after punchline after punchline on Big T. And them shits was raining. It got to a point where you'd be like, yo, uh, Big T should just retire type shit. Like, he was wilding on him. He said, yo, gang sign. <laughs> it's the, this that shit y'all throw up in the streets. <laughs> this is your gang sign. That means, <laughs> can you give me a piece? Like, yo, he said this. <laughs> Bro, he went crazy on Big T. All three rounds. I do not have Big T winning the round. I have... Mac Myron in convincing, dominating fashion, winning every single round versus Big T. Uh, I, I, I'm a fan of Big T's music, and when he's in his battle bag doing his thing, I give props to that too. But tonight just it just wasn't your night. I, I'm sorry. It just it wasn't like Mac Myron. I mean, going into the battle, I would have thought Mac Myron was gonna win anyway, cause it's. Mac Myron, like, he's, if you, <laughs> you know, if you ain't got Mac, you fuck your top five if you ain't got Mac in it. Like, Mac goes line for line, punch for punch with a lot of different people. The only thing that separates Mac from a lot of the big stars that punch is opportunities, like getting opportunities versus names on stages that are really relevant to the culture. I think that's a big thing that separates Mac and the promotion thing, too, you know what I'm saying? Like, really being out there, really staying engaged, really, you know, keeping in contact Talking to your fans, talking shit, and people just knowing that you're a viable character that they can really reach out to and get, you know, they can hear from you more than just your battles. So that would probably help Mac Myron out. But all in all, he's tight. He's been doing this for a while. Mac Myron 3 0. Uh, I got nothing more. Uh, Geechee Gotti versus Clean Paper, Kitchen Clean. I did recap this battle separately. Uh, I do have Clean Paper winning the battle 2 1. Uh, I just felt like Clean was more personal, Clean had more direct angles. Clean was in a bag. Like, he took Geechee Gotti's power moves, nigga, use a bitch, and used it against him. You know what I'm saying? Saying, like, you know, he flipped it like uh, you you you, <laughs> you were supposed to be proving it. Nigga, use the type that got on smack and started using it. Like, he was just, like, like he was just basically rapping about himself, but through Geechee Gotti's style, saying, nigga, make him rap, make him rap every fucking bar. Like, the shit, it hit phenomenal. Um... Geechee has Jazz next week, so, I mean, he did serviceable. He did well enough to where there's going to be some people that will probably still edge it to him. But in order for me to keep it a buck, I got to be honest, when I watch the battles, I don't really put my personal who I want to win a battle in. I go off of the what I see, the bars, the angles, the the, the energy, you know what I'm saying? And it just lean me towards uh, Kitchen Clean in this one. Um, overall, I did not get to see every event, you know what I'm saying? There's some battles that I definitely still have to watch. 
I didn't get to watch Chef Trez versus St. Holmes of the God versus Fate or vs. Live versus Don Marino. I just I just didn't see it. It is what it is. I mean, nigga, what you want me to do? I'm, it's <laughs> um, but overall, from what I did see, GTX The Prelude is a pretty good event. I would definitely probably go back and watch Chef Trez and them and the other battles too. But uh, I did watch Gishi Gotti vs. Kitchen Clean twice. It was a good battle. It's a very good battle. It's a very good card. Um, it took place on April 22nd, yesterday, you know what I'm saying, like, well, it, you know what I'm saying, like, it took place yesterday, yeah, yeah, on a Friday, which is dope, because Battle Rap happened on a Friday, you can get the recaps out on a Saturday, I just don't, only rap Battle Rap events I don't like is them shits that be happening on Sunday, like, niggas, like, Battle Rap is just not, it ain't no Sunday type shit, like, most people work and have jobs that they go to, whether on Mondays and things like that, so the Battle Rap on a Saturday, Friday, it's cool if it's like, you know, people's out of work and things like that. Saturdays is definitely the prime day for battle rap. I just don't think, like, Sundays, I don't know. You know, if it comes on on a Sunday, I'll watch it on a Sunday. But I just don't think Sundays is a primary day for battle rap. But who am I? I'm just a nigga with a camera. Um, Back to disaster. And Azino. 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 Um, Azino had a huge contingent of people in there that was rocking with what he was doing. He was getting cheers and shit before he even started to rap. Like, I, I haven't seen no shit like that since he battled Oxymoron. That's why I tell you, like, Diz is like, he's really, really, really prime candidate to get these big name battles versus these international guys because what he just did versus Ace Zeno, first of all, it's going to do millions of views. They're going to fuck with him in Mexico. They're going to love this shit like this shit is crazy. He rapped the whole round in Spanish, bro. Like the whole round from beginning to end. I've never seen no shit like that before. Especially from somebody who's not, that's not their primary language, that's not their secondary language. Like for him to learn all of that. Who taught, when you start rapping like that, dude, who taught you this shit? I was sitting there listening like, yo, is he really gonna get through this? And he was, blah, 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 blah. I don't know what he was talking about. I don't fucking know. I can't tell you what he was talking about. I don't know nothing he said the whole round, but he was getting reaction. So he must have been saying something. So I'm saying, he had to be saying something. Uh, Verb impressed on this card. Pass did very well on this joint, too. I'm not going to take nothing away from Pass. Pass was definitely in his bag. Like, that shit that he was doing, I believe when it was in his, his third round. He was talking about how Verb is cancerous. Uh, you know, he talks down women and yada, yada, yada. Kevin Samuels, that's how you talk to a bitch. Like, I like that round right there. Uh, I got Pass with the third. I got Verb with the second. I edged the first to Verb, but the first could go either way. That shit was fire, too. Like, Verb... Verb was in a bag that lets you know like he's still ready to do this like he's not gonna play around He's not gonna joke joke kid and kid and lose battles and shit like he definitely picked up From his easy to block captain battle and kept it going and the rounds You know what I'm saying the rounds don't seem like they were long because a lot of these battles was like 25 minutes 20 minutes or whatever the case may be the disaster battle is long Disasters battles are long in general, and then once you add an international star who gets a lot of attention, a lot of crowd reaction and shit like that, you are well over 40 minutes. That battle was easily in the um, 40 minute plateau, but them guys did do their thing, you know what I'm saying, GTX, salute for the uh, battle, it was, I, I appreciate seeing it. Where was the invite? I could have brought Showtime SP, you know, niggas ain't even invite me, but it's cool, I ain't even tripping, I'm still recapping, I still thought it was fire, I still thought y'all niggas did y'all thing. Um, I like that battle. Mac Myron went super crazy. He really was in a punch bag. Um, and Clean Paper was, well, Kitchen Clean. Is it Clean Paper or is it Kitchen Clean? Whatever you call yourself, salute to you, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is, but salute to y'all niggas. Gang!